Okay, hi, welcome to the second video in this series on um, doctors of BCS. So in this one, I'm going to talk about who is the comfort. I want to talk about this because this is where the, the BCS actually began from. Okay, it began from the the father of the current leader, who is also named Unumba Unumba Abu. When he came and he claimed to be the promised comforter. I remember this very, very clearly because I had that scarf growing up that had comforter has come. And we wore that to church every Sunday. <laughs> Bethel, let me use the right word so you know that I'm not just, you know. I wanted to Bethel every Sunday, right? The comforter has come and all of that. So that was the great herald, the great um, message that we had back then for people. So now, what does the Bible say about the comforter? Who is the comforter and when did the comforter arrive? The comforter arrived in 1930. I don't know the, the, the year he was born, but he was born in 1930s, 1940s. Was that when the comforter arrived? Or, or had the comforter always been here? Okay, so now we're going to look at John 14, verse 23, and that says, But the helper, the Holy Spirit, the KJV would say, What the comforter. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you and bring you to and bring to your remembrance all the things that I have said to you. Okay, so that's the first one. John 15 also speaks about it again. He said, John 15 26 says, But when the helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth will proceed from the Father, he will bear witness about me. Okay, so this is just Christ speaking and saying, I'm promising um, the disciples that He will send a comforter. So, the comforter is the Holy Spirit. That is what has been said here. So now, um, we, hear, we hear this again in the book of Acts 1, verse 5 and 8. It says, 5 and 8. 5 says, For John, John baptized with water, but I will baptize, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Okay? This is where Christ was re. Um, Reminding them of the, this promise of comfort, the comforter, and the promise of the comforter was also written in that gospel. So I'm just, just listing a few out here. And then in Act 1 8, he also says, This is also Christ saying, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So here you are seeing very clearly that Christ promised them this comforter that he's going to send, and this comforter is the Holy Spirit. Um, John has already um, clarified that, that this is the Holy Spirit and then Christ also um, tells them that they will receive this comforter not many days from now okay? and then also this is what the comforter is going to do he's going to, you receive, he's going to give them power to be witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria and to the ends of the earth and then the comforter finally arrives here in Acts 2 verse 4 in the event of the, of the Pentecost. He says in Acts 2 verse 4, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Right? So the Spirit here, you can see him illuminating already. You can see them giving them wisdom, giving them confidence, giving them, you know, what they did not have before. So that was basically what Christ had been promising them all this entire time that he will come and, and bring um, the words of the Father, the, the, the secret things, the mysteries, and then reveal it to them when Christ, after Christ has left. Right? So, and he gave them this this boldness that you know there were just a few people up in the upper room, scared for their life after Christ had died and resurrected and left, and has ascended. They were scared for their life. They had buried away. Some of them were going back to their initial jobs, going back to fishing, and going back to all the things they were doing before. But the only Holy Spirit came and entered all of them. It, it, it turned everything upside down. They left that room immediately and started speaking in tongues, speaking in the language of everybody around, preaching the gospel. And from there, they started preaching the gospel up to the ends of the earth. Right? So now we are going to the gospel here because that is the work of the Holy Spirit. And He gave them the, everything that they needed to preach the gospel. He gave them the wisdom, explain the gospel to them and everything, and explain the word of God to them, which is basically how we even got this. Bible, which he said is uh, inspired by what? By the Holy Spirit. We were able to put this together, right? So the Comforter has always been here, right? Christ did not leave and leave the church just, you know, <laughs> on their own for 2,000 years and then, you know, send the Comforter in 1919, waiting, waiting, waiting. I mean, believers of all ages have just been figuring this out on their own. No, we do not have the power to do that on our own. The Holy Spirit, which all believers, all who have ever believed and placed their faith in Christ have all received the promised comforter. 
So whoever's coming to come and claim that he is the comforter, is clearly not the comforter. He is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not a man. <laughs> right? That is his job or not to come live, get married, because that's basically what if the, the person that claims to be the comforter of Limbo Limba, who he did he came, he got married, the current leader is his son, right? So he came, got married, lived life and you know, got you know Inside this church, I had so many followers and all of that. That is that, that in no way in scripture is it said that that's the role of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is in the believer, the Holy Spirit illuminates the word of God to convict us of, of sin and all of that. So it's ridiculous. <laughs> Her comforter has already been here since you know a few days after the ascension. So that's basically what we see scripture telling us. So this is the first video explaining that the comforter is already here. So the claim of Lumba Lumba, oh, that he is a promised comforter. Honestly, I even want to know where is he? <laughs> because clearly the members always claim that you know there's going to missionary work. You know that he's dead. I mean, no one has seen him in like 10 years. At this point, you should come out and just tell people that this man is has passed but obviously saying that their god is dead obviously and do not resurrect shows that uh, he's not who he says he is so he's just a man right so first question who is the promise comforter? is the holy spirit and he came in the events of the Pentecost. watch out for the next video